True dragonflies are classified in an infra order whose name, from its Greek origin, means uneven wing. This is in reference to the insect's two different sized wings. The hind wings are broader than the front wings. These are often held horizontally while at rest, which separates them from the damselflies, who hold their wings up and over their body. Dragonflies have many different names depending on the region. They get the name needle for their back and forth flying motions, the name ear cutter from the myth that they would cut off children's ears, and horse stinger for the erroneous belief they sting horses. Dragonflies don't sting horses, by the way. To be entirely clear, dragonflies don't sting at all. Although their common names may suggest a more sinister nature, and even their shared order name with damselflies means toothed ones, dragonflies are harmless to humans. Even the name dragonfly may have demonic origins. These arthropods were believed to be associated with the devil himself, perhaps sent to cause mischief or to sew up the mouths of misbehaving children. In Romanian, the words devil and dragon both come from the same root, drac, which lead to the translation of dragonfly. However, they still get the devil moniker in some parts of the world. The association of the dragonfly with an evil being is largely based in Europe. In other parts of the world, such as many parts of Asia, they're viewed in a much more positive light. For example, in Japan, they're viewed as a symbol of strength and determination, and have an association with samurai warriors. Whether they were viewed in a positive, negative, or simply neutral light, dragonflies have been represented in human culture for millennia. Some bronze engravings depicting these flying insects date back to 1,500 years before the Common Era. What's more, dragonfly-like insects currently hold the title for the longest known insects to ever live. These arthropod ancestors had a nearly two and a half foot wingspan. It's worth noting, however, that these ancient bugs are more appropriately known as griffinflies, as they aren't considered true dragonflies. We weren't able to find a solid source as to why ancient dragonfly-like insects got the name griffinfly. The author of Coffee and Creatures suggests a comment from a paleontologist indicates it may be related to a German word meaning attack, but even this is dicey. The name griffinfly may have also simply come from the fantastical association of griffins and dragons, both commonly seen in fantasy-based settings. I, however, wonder if it has something to do with how griffins are sometimes described as creatures with snake tails. Another common name for the dragonfly is snake doctor, under the belief that these insects follow snakes around and tend to them as a doctor would their patient. This serpentine name then allows for a link between snake-tailed griffins and the griffinflies of old. You've also probably heard that dragonflies have huge eyes and mate in a wheel. But if you weren't aware of these facts, you can learn all about them and more in our full dragonfly episode. There's a card on screen you can click right now. Go ahead, click it. There's lots to learn. And thanks for watching Animal Fact Files.